Hey guys, welcome to another Josh Live video. So, uh, we got next week's event schedule up, and, uh, no surprises here. Again, um, it's all it's stuff that we've, um, found in the data mine, uh, before. Uh, what was it, like, two or three weeks ago? So, um, you know, if you guys want to get information like this early, uh, do subscribe to the channel, and, um, you would probably get these informations earlier, uh, than they would release this. Uh, anyways, um, going over next week... The theme is the tra uh, Jurassic Park, so it's it's a theme based on the first movie, you know, the first Jurassic Park movie, obviously. Um, probably one of the best movies of all time. <laughs> so, anyways, um, uh, let's get into this. Starting from the featured creatures, so we're still going with that format that you know to have some overlaps, which I personally enjoy. I don't really mind them. Um, I, I'm. It doesn't feel like. Um, one is taking away from the other uh, for the most part, so I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, so Monday through Thursday, we got commons, 45 attempts on commons. That's a lot. That's a lot of, that's a lot of commons. Um, although common uh, per dino attempts have decreased, but you know, it's not a big steal in the world. And you still get a decent amount of attempts anyways. And no one's going to finish all 45 attempts or, you know. Regular folks have actually like jobs and stuff, school to go to, and all that. It's gonna be hard to finish all forty-five, but uh, you know it's possible. And these are some really great creatures. And obviously, they're all from the movie. So you got Dilophosaurus Gen two, Parasaurolophus, uh, Velociraptor, Gallimimus, and Triceratops Gen two. And then from Thursday to Friday, first two days overlapping with the commons, you got the rares: Rex Gen two, Dilophosaurus, and Triceratops. And Saturday, Sunday, you don't have anything else to overlap it with. It's Brax and Bracky, which is six attempts. And two days on six attempts? Okay. I, that's that's fine, I guess. <laughs> Although, you know, um, uh, uh, this week, or the, the week before the Jurassic Park week, uh, we had, like, two um, two different days of, of six attempts on Epic Dinos and, like, those were only like one days, but uh, you know, I don't mind it. I mean, I'd like more days for the um, epics, but it's just kind of weird that you're giving us two days for only six attempts. But you know, it's 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 all good. So, looking for uh, which dinos to go for. Um, all the commons are great, except for probably Gallimimus. Gallimimus makes Monomimus, which makes Terabexes, which both aren't great at all. Um, Parasaurolophus makes uh, Paramoloch, which is great, and then also makes uh, Paramoloch makes Tormoloch, which is also decent at the moment. And then Triceratops, that makes one of the best items in the game, or Triceratops Gen 2, I mean, uh, which is Triceratops. Velociraptor, you make Indominus Rex, which turns into Indoraptor, or Erlodominus, which at the moment Erlodominus is a bit better. Um, not a bit better, uh, quite better. Uh, so, you know, you always need Velociraptor, but then again, Velociraptor is a bit easy to find since, it's, you know, wherever you live, it spawns uh, at night, right? And then Velociraptor Gen 2 makes uh, Tyranlophosaur, which makes Dothrax also one of the best items in the game. Uh, but, I mean, the Lothosaurus, it's it's a what? I think it's it's a Sunday uh, daily uh, migration dino, so it's not that hard to gather DNA for now. Um, so... Well, I guess the only thing about it is you can't really scent it. So I guess if you really need uh, large quantities of Velociraptor Gen 2, you can go for that as well. Um, just saying, you know, um, something like Paris or, or Triceratops Gen 2 might be a bit dif more difficult to get, if, especially if you don't, it, it, or not especially, if you don't live in those zones. So, yep, that's for the commons. For the rares, uh, Velociraptor, Triceratops, and Rex Gen 2. Velociraptor might be the favorite here, just because... Uh, you know, it's a bit more difficult to get the loft source if you don't live in the zone. And the loft source obviously makes Dalarana, which makes Dalarcaris. Both are uh, top tier dinos in the game. And then Rex Gen 2, I think that's also a daily migration dino, so that's not too hard to get as well. But also, you know, if, if you're one of those people who are busy or have work to do or school on the day that Rex Gen 2 is the daily dino you might want to go for rex gen 2 then i guess uh just because you know if you're just busy on the rex gen 2 days it's just gonna be a bit hard for you right and then triceratops makes stegoceratops which makes monostegotops both um are really great dinos as well uh but 
it's the same situation as Rex Gen 2, but, you know, if you were to go, you know, or, or think of which one to go for, Mono Stegotops or um, Tenanthorax, Tenanthorax is obviously better than uh, Mono Stegotops in most scenarios. So there's that. Okay, um, Saturday and Sunday, this one should be an easy one. Brachiosaurus and Rex. Uh, Rex is one of the most useful DNAs in the game. Uh, Bracky doesn't have any use at the moment, other than a decent tank, I guess. <laughs> but then again, um, tanks do struggle a lot in this meta, so uh, probably not the best idea to to uh, have Bracky on your team for too long. And uh, Rex obviously makes Indominus Rex, which makes Aerodom, Indoraptor, and then also makes Strikesaurus as well. Um, Strikesaurus is probably one of the best items in the game, along with Aerodom. So, you know, Rex should be the obvious answer here. That's what I'm going for, at least. I'm um, hoping to level up my Earl Dom a bit more. It's at what, level 25 right now with like 10 DNA left before 26. So hopefully I could get it up to a, you know, a serviceable level so I could put it on my team. So anyways, um, that's the featured creatures. Now going over the uh, strike events. I believe uh, these strike events are Jurassic Park themed. If you see... It, like, you have to, like, look really close. Like, on the incubators, it seems like um, they have the Jurassic Park movie... Uh, uh, the, 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 the Jurassic Park gates on it for the icon, but, like, the gates are white and then has, like... I I would guess... Because I really... I honestly can't see, man. Um, it's, it's so hard to see. Uh, I would guess that's, like, the Jurassic World Alive logo or something close to that. Just to, you know, match the colors, I guess, for the uh, Jurassic Park gates. So, um, there's that. And for the strike events, on Monday, uh, you have a small common one-step uh, strike event, and then a also a five-step large common strike event, and also your, fir uh, your first scent strike. And then Tuesday, you got a one-step standard ascent, or not, uh, or not scent strike, uh, one-step standard common strike event, and a one-step rare strike event. And remember, all these just give DNA of those weekly dinos or the featured creatures. Those are, you know, the, the DNA you're going to get from it. It's the Jurassic Park theme. And then Wednesday, you got a one-step small strike event. And then you got your one-step boost strike. Um, does that mean it's an HP boost that they have? Or, or is that just like a generic icon? I don't know. Um, I'll have to check last week's uh, schedule, I guess. Um, let's see, last week's schedule, last few weeks, or, yeah, the schedule was, was a, um, was a health boost as, as well as icons, so I don't know. Thursday, it's a three-step, um, standard, uh, common strike event, and then you got your second, uh, scent strike. Friday, you got a one-step, uh, standard, uh, common strike event, and then you got a, this one's really good, a one-step epic rex Strike event, so that's going to give you a regular epic incubator, which is already good, and an extra 200 Rex DNA. I don't know why they're being so generous with these strike events now, but they are being very generous with these strike events. And then moving on, uh, Saturday, you got a three step standard common strike, and then a five step large common strike, and then three step rare strike. And then Sunday, you got a one step small common strike, and then a one step themed uh, epic strike event. And um, we also have those um, uh, data mined, uh, which, uh, give me a sec, I have to find that. Uh, let's see, Jurassic Park movie. Um, so the, the, the boss creatures for that one is a level 24 Bracky, level 25 Rex, and a level 26 Velociraptor. So, you know, that's your kind of OG-ish three um uh, uh, Jurassic Park star dinosaurs. Although, personally, um, the Triceratops made more of an impact on me um, when I was watching the movie for the first time than Brachiosaurus. Although Brachia is obviously one of, uh, one of the you know, classics in there. And uh, yeah, that's for all the strike events. And then you got your treasure chases on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So next week's going to be fun. Um, personally, I love all the Rex DNA. Uh, I need all the Rex DNA that I could get to level up my Earl Dom. So uh, let's see, uh, that's gonna get net me. Just say I average what two hundred on the Rexes, six 
1.2k uh, on the Rex, and then what? That's another, what, 250, I think? For the Rex DNA in the Epic one, so that's going to get me a decent amount of fuses on Earl Dom, so hopefully that could get me somewhere close to level tw uh, 23, or not 20, the 27 on Earl Dom, but uh, yep. <laughs> uh, that's next week's stuff, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, tell me what you guys are looking forward to next week in terms of the uh, featured creatures and stuff. And, uh, yep, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel so you could get this information weeks earlier. <laughs> Sometimes. Not all the times, but, you know, uh, most of the time we, 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 we get these ones. And, um, yep, I'll see you guys tomorrow.